ladies and gentlemen, welcoming to Uganda for the second time, both of them for the second time, we have, <laughs> we have a queen, a doctor, she's savage, it is Miss Tiwa and her young king, Jabil. We're very happy to have you here. Welcome to Uganda. Jevale or uh, how far? <laughs> <laughs> Whichever feels more comfortable. And we're time for Shay Shonimo as we get ready to hear from Miss Tiwa, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'd like to remind you that once upon a time in 2013, she gave us Kele Kele love and we loved her for it and so much more. And she keeps on giving. So make sure you check out her Water at Gari project. She's on her work world tour and we're more than happy to be part of that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the queen of Afrobeats, Sankoha Mama, Sankoha Auntie Tiwa. We know her as Savage KNA, thanks to tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, here she is, uh, Tiwa Savage, you're welcome to Uganda. Um, can we hear from you? How was your journey? How's it going? Talk to us. Um, wow, it's, it's a long journey. Mm. Um, we, we're still missing luggage. Yeah. <laughs> so um, as, as we speak, I don't actually have anything I'm wearing tomorrow. Mm. Well, we're going to make it work. I'm, I'm going uh, to probably reach out to some um, designers out here. And, you know, maybe it all works out for the best. So, yeah, we're going to do that. I like that. And I like that you always look out for women. So I know a couple of designers. I'll make some phone calls. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Dress yes. Miss Tiwa, please. If they can make something in less than 24 hours. Hi, Uganda Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> but the journey was um, long, interesting, but um, I'm super, super glad I'm here. Um, yeah, like you said earlier on, the last time I was here, I was, I think I was actually close to seven months with this little man. So um, on the way here when I was explaining to him, he's like, Mommy, is that why I'm always dancing so much? <laughs> yeah, because I was dancing a lot <laughs> on stage. Um, I'm here with my crew, I'm here with my team. I'm just so honored um, to Ali, Shay, everyone for just choosing me, believing in me. Um, really, really humbled to be here. And I'm super excited that it's an all female lineup. Um, I think, you know, more and more people need to have that heart to do something like this. You know, I say this all the time, anytime I'm given the opportunity, everywhere around the world, actually, the female artists are actually probably the biggest artists. When you think of people like, Nicki Minaj and Rihanna and Beyonce and Adele and Dewa, right? <laughs> They're actually bigger than their male um, colleagues, you know. So um, I think it's time for Africa to, to wake up because we have so many, so many amazing female artists. Whenever, and whenever I'm given this opportunity to do something like this or to headline a show, it's never just about me um, because, you know, the pressure is on me. I need to make sure that we, or we need to make sure that we sell out that place tomorrow. I need to personally make sure that I give you a show that you have never ever seen before. And promise, I promise you, I am going to do that. I always deliver in my most humble opinion. But I'm doing that also so that the next time when you have an Ira star or whoever else that's gonna come, they're gonna do even bigger than what I've done. And that's, that's my goal is that you know, if I'm able to succeed and make this a success, the next female artist is only going to do so much better. So it's it's more than just coming here and performing to me. I'm coming here to kill it. I'm coming here to show you guys <laughs> that I have more hits than you probably even remember. Tomorrow is going to be a madness. I'm going to savage that stage up and I want everyone to come out because you will not be disappointed. Trust me, it's going to be. We're bringing, right? We're bringing the biggest vibe mm. tomorrow. It's going to be historical, iconic. I like that. So, Ugandans are famously known for going for band nights. And uh, the fact that you carried your whole band yes. with you 
that that is beautiful. It says a lot about your performance culture. It says a lot about what you want to give the people. So tell us what that journey, becoming the artist that you be, you've become. You you literally represent us across the world. So. <laughs> so tell us what that journey has been like. Has it been a lot of pressure? Has it been, has it been a lot of fun? What can you tell a young artist dreaming to pull off something like you do? I mean, initially I couldn't afford to do something like this, but then I got to a stage where um, I put my foot down and I said, if I'm not performing the band, I'm not performing. Promoters hate hearing that, by the way. <laughs> um, but it's for the, it's, it, you know, it's, it's for, it's for the fans, the people coming out, they deserve to hear me sing. They, otherwise they can just put on their, you know, their Apple or Spotify or whatever, and they could just listen to a playlist. But they're coming to watch me perform. It's only right for me to, to perform. And I can only give them an experience when I have my, my band there. Um, so yeah, it's all live performance. Um, there's about, I don't know how many of us traveled, maybe 10, 15 people. Yeah, that's a lot of luggage to me. <laughs> <laughs> My own and all is ten suitcases. Um, but yeah, um, so it's 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 live band. Um, I'm I'm going to be singing my heart. Oh, we can't wait! And you brought your heart with you. Yes. Um, can we say hi to Jabril? Hey, man. Uh, ah, I like it. He's the opposite of me. He's really really shy. Really? Your Instagram looks different. It we takes us <laughs> 10 hours to take one picture. Makes sense. So you, you talked about Apple, Spotify. Let's talk about playlists in between the sports a little bit. Which Ugandan musicians feature on any of your playlists? Yeah, you're here. You're in that 256. <laughs> we saw Navi a recently. Nice. Right. Um, Stockholm. Yeah, we saw him. I need to I need to see more of the females, so that's why I'm here. I'm, I'm actually gonna go to the grounds early, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna watch every single performance. Um, and I would love to to do a collaboration. So you know, I'm not one of those artists that's just gonna come on when it's you know my time to perform. I actually wanna come and watch every single female artist. And I, I heard there's female DJs as well. Yes, so I'm actually gonna I'm gonna come there early and watch every single. I'm going to wait till tomorrow to answer this question because I want to see everyone perform. Okay, uh, Carol Cosita is around, Lamo is here, Laika is here, Sandra Subi. There is a collab looming. Did you hear that? Stand up, please stand up. Let me see that. And uh, I feel like the best part of what you were saying is should be dancing to your songs. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Y'all ready? No, I love you more. So I promise you, I, you know, I know, I know. Translation goes a Barone. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, Miss T, you're one of the most decorated musicians I am into. Uh, I can't speak for other people, but you are really decorated, and not just with accolades for your music, but Wasoma, the direct translation is you've read. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you're now a doctor. So, just be clear, how do we introduce you? Queen Dr. Savage or uh, Dr. Tiwa, Dr. Queen Savage? Help us out there. <laughs> I don't even know. Like, it's still surreal to me. I yeah. Um, yeah I, I, Talk I, about it for a little bit. I don't know. Like, I said in my speech, you know, um, people who really follow to a Savage will know that the story hasn't always been rosy um, for me. So, and that's not, it's not a bad thing because, you know, people don't want to follow people who have just great lives. It's not realistic because, you know, you look at your life and you look at your struggles and, you know, if I'm coming here saying, you know, I got the first deal I wanted, I've never had anything bad, you know, my whole life has been great, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to inspire you. So, um, when I got that doctorate, you know, my dad being a typical African parent was saying, before I do music, I have to go to school. And he gave me five options. He said lawyer, um, doctor, you know, accountant. He counted five, and I, I picked yeah. business and accounts, right? Mm -hmm. And um, he passed away a couple of days to the day last year. So uh, he would have been so, so proud um, of that. But I say all that to say, you know, it's amazing that a university like Kent can recognize me 
um, and recognize my work and just recognize just Afrobeat um, and just African music in general. I don't really want to narrow it to Afrobeat because African music is bigger than that. Um, but just recognize an African woman living her dream and if that can happen to me, I say this all the time, it can happen to any one of you guys and even much more so. Design to your service dress should do one for Jeff Breezy. <laughs> we need consistency. I'll pass. Happy, happy, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Simon. Thank you, Mr. Jean Philippe. Thank you, Paul. And uh, thank you, everyone, for coming out to this event. Um, it's been a pleasure today. Come together. And yeah, any final remarks from our sponsors before we release you? Last in 2015. Five months pregnant, and she had the most amazing show. Shoes off, dancing all over the stage. It was an amazing vibe. And uh, seven years later, she's here with Jamil. Um, it's just an amazing story and how it all came around, and it's, it's back again. We're super excited to be a part of this. Um, when Just Global and South Korea reached out to us to be a part of this event and you know put it together with them, um, it was an amazing uh, thing for us to you know excite excitement that comes around with working with you again. She's a really humble artist, a great artist, and to see, I mean, the amazing progress that she's made from then to now is just um, something incredible. So, as how in Africa, I mean, we're super um, excited to be a part of the event. Um, it's happening tomorrow. All roads lead, all roads lead to the Lugogo Cricket Oval. Um, people should get their tickets if they haven't got them yet. Uh, the gates open tomorrow at. Um, 4 p.m. Awesome. One more time for Ali Alibai, ladies and gentlemen. And now I'd like to invite from Joss Lobo, uh, one of the people that made this. First of all, I'm an artist. Uh, I'm a producer, I'm a promoter, and I'm an investor. Um, there's no better way to tell our story than us telling our stories. Um, it's very critical for us to be able to do what we do. And there's a reason for doing it because Afrobeats and that African music is in a place where if we don't own it and celebrate ourselves, it, nobody else will do it. And no better way to do it, when we came to Uganda, we had to go with the best. You know, that's why we reached out to my good friend here, Patrick, um, at South Inn, and also uh, Talent Africa. And when we decided to do it, we reached out to Tiwa Savage, and it was no problem with you. We wanted to do it, and we decided to go with the best, because we know that she's the queen of Afrobeats, first of all, and she's put in the work. You know, if you know her, she's been in the game 10 years plus, and she's been continually, continually relevant. I know how hard that, that is as an artist, and also to be a mother. So for us, it's a no-brainer to come to Uganda, the Pearl of Africa, to kind of celebrate Tiwa Sami as well as other females. Because if we don't celebrate and lift our women up, nobody will. And every, every society is broken or lifted up by the female. So for me, it's a personal thing as an artist, and also as a musician, and also as a business perspective. It has to be done right, and that's why we're here today. Uh, we want to thank everybody that's on here as a partner. I mean, I can't mention everybody, but I think Percy, uh, Tusk Society, Sheraton, you have made this a lot easier. And I tell you, this, not, this will not be our last time here. We need to celebrate ourselves as Africans. We are Africans before we are anything else. So we want you to know that tomorrow is going to be a movie. It's going to be an event like you've ever seen. Um, we're going to celebrate our women the right way. And I hope you guys come out and do the same with us because we're not going anywhere. This is, it. This is our time to shine. And nobody's going to tell our story but us. Oh, that's Thank powerful. You. Thank you so much. And the time for Shay Shadow. As we get ready to hear from Miss Tiwa, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'd like to remind you that once upon a time in 2013, she gave us Kele Kele now, but we loved her for it and so much more, and she keeps on giving. So make sure you check out her Water at Gari project. She's on her WAG World Tour, and we're more than happy to be part of that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the queen of Afrobeats, Sankoha Mama, Sankoha Auntie Tiwa. We know her as Savage KLA, thanks to tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, here she is, uh, Tiwa Savage, welcome to Uganda. Um, 